We got this. Let's go. Three, two, one. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video and another reaction here on my channel. Today, we are reacting to another player, really, another youngster, really. And this time, we are going to the back, and he is probably preferred to the next Puyol, especially when he plays for Barcelona. And that is, of course, this youngster, which name I cannot really pronounce. I'm gonna try my best. Ronald. Araujo, I think that is how you pronounce the name, Ronald Araujo, the hair of Carlos Puyol, and he is kind of the big name when it comes to young center backs really, him, Kunde, and some other players, I have not really seen so much towards this guy, like I have seen uh, Kunde play a little bit, I not really take notice of him, I have heard a lot of good things about him, so I'm excited to see what he's about really. But before we get into that, definitely hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying the video. And if you want me to react to a different team, a different player, a different youngster, definitely comment down below to let me know what you want me to react to. And remember to subscribe. <laughs> In that way, you can always see every single video I do. But I feel like that's all thing I have to say. So let's just get into the video then. Ronald Araujo, the hair of Carlos Puyol. Here we go. I feel like that's the, how you pronounce his name, really. He's very young. I feel like he's like 21, 22 years old, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Oi. He's very uh, aware. You have to be aware of the situation when you're a defender, really. Damn, this is uh, Alfonso Davis as well. Whoa. That's a nice thing. That's awesome, man. he's aware of the game. He's aware of the game. And he can also score goals from hitters, man. That's, that's sick. Another one. He's flying over there. Oh, versus Vinicius Jr., man. Come on. Hey, is that him? He seems pretty fast as a defender. Maybe he's one of those uh, fast defenders. He's maybe like a Varane type of player, really. He's very fast and very, like, aware of the situations, really. But to, to, to compare him to Carlos Puyol is like, it's a big statement, really, because... Carlos Piol was a leader, a true, true leader, mate, a true captain. So it's uh, some big shoes to fill in, mate. It, it is really. Oi. Time. What a goal! What a goal for him! And he's strong as well, he's very strong. Damn. Hard to get the ball off him. Damn, and he's gone. Hey. That's a that's a goal, yeah. That's a very good. This is Benzema. Ah, 
Easy. He's very aware of this, some situations, like very good vision as well. He loves to like drive the ball forward. I mean, you can see that clearly. I feel like he's one of those players who, as a young player, he he was playing at an, an attacking position, right? But he just was more suited in the professional league to play as a center back but i feel like most most people actually want to be a striker right when they're young but they are maybe more more suited to be a midfielder or a defender really so i feel like that's the case with him you can definitely see that he wa lo loves to stride the ball forward really so yeah yeah damn But I'm, I'm excited to see the whole Barcelona team in general. Like there, there's so many youngsters in the team. I mean, it it it, it excited to be a Barcelona fan. I'm telling you. All around with this fan, to be fair, because now they have some big rivalry. Damn. And Barcelona are going to sign a Lewandowski, mate. Le Lewandowski is very close to signing to Barcelona, mate. It's crazy, mate. Imagine him going to Barcelona. Damn. What a deadly attack. I'm excited to see that. 100%. 100%. Boom. See, he loves to just try to fall forward, me. And, and again, once again, he's running forward, me. It's crazy. I love to see that. I actually love to see defenders coming forward a little bit. Damn. Wait. Maybe it was because he's playing as a fallback in some games. Like I feel like if people are injured, he's a very young athletic player that can run pretty well. So he might be used in the right back position, for example, or something like that, right? So maybe that's the case. Like right here, he's playing as a left back position. But... Damn. Oi. Oh, see, again. Damn. He's very composed as well. Like you, you, you have to be very composed as a defender, really, to really know and believe in your abilities as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's strong. He's very strong. Ooh, almost a goal. Almost a goal. Good passing as well. I would be excited if if I was a true Barcelona fan. I would be so excited for next season, mate. Because next season is gonna be hard for Real Madrid to really keep up with Barcelona. But. Uh, it's gonna be very tight, 100%. I'm, I truly believe that. If they're starting as well as they finished Barcelona, they're gonna be very dangerous, mate. Oi. See, he's, he's just running forward all the time. It's Crazy. What a pass as well. What a pass. Sorry guys. Wait. Wait. You cannot get you cannot get passing me. 
and another good ball. Huh? A decent ball. A decent ball. Yeah, yeah. Damn, what a hitter. What a player, man. He's definitely got a bright future ahead of him, man. He's, he seems very composed. He seems like a what a defender is needed. Like, that's a true defender right there. I don't know if really is a Carlos Puyol level yet, but he definitely had the potential to increase his performance, really, because Puyol was, if you remember, a different breed. I, I also think some Barcelona fans watching this is agreeing with me that he's a long way for a Puyol level type of player, really. But there's definitely some potential there, 100%. And I, I, I'm excited to see the whole Barcelona team next season. I feel like it's one of those seasons where Real Madrid and Barcelona is going head to head together again. And those two are just clear from, from, from the rest, really. I feel like it's gonna be one of those seasons, really. Because if they if Barcelona signed Lewandowski, me, it's dangerous, me. It's very, very dangerous. Real Madrid is also linking with some huge players. I, I, I saw a tweet or a transfer news that Raheem Sterling is going to, or potentially going to uh, Real Madrid. That will be elite, me. Him at Real Madrid, he's like the third England player really to play for Real Madrid if that if that will be the case there's David Beckham and Michael Owen and maybe Raheem Sterling so that would be sick but yeah I'm just excited for next season I cannot wait but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video definitely hit a like button if you have and if you want to see more 100% subscribe to the channel <laughs> until next time you guys will stay awesome stay cool and I'll see you guys in the next video take care and peace bye <laughs>